<laughs> Double high five. Double high five. Avery, are we gonna catch big bass today? She's like, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dizzy. We're gonna be hanging out with Sam today. I'm gonna tell you guys, he's really, really good with kids. There's one reason and one reason only. It's because he takes care of Peric on a daily. <laughs> we're gonna be going fishing now. I'm gonna take him to a. Uh, we're gonna go to a pond today. I don't know what the wind's gonna be like. Is the wind gonna be bad today? Good talk, everybody. When when everybody's around, no one no one listens. No big deal. Probably should bring that spinning setup. So we're gonna start something here. We wanna we wanna see how close we can get every single day. And I don't know why it always does this. So we are starting today at eight four nine three two six, getting close to eight five zero mark. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe right down there and hit the notifications. I keep telling you guys, that's it's just we gotta get closer to a million. And we're sitting at eight four nine three two six. Is there a seven coming? Oh, there's a seven. All right, <sighs> we're good. We're good. Hey, I have a friend coming in that just came back from Afghanistan. He's gonna be here tomorrow, and I might be able to do a Military Mondays stuff with him. I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to, I don't know, we're gonna play that one by ear, but it's gonna be great anyway, because you guys will be able to, whoa, you guys will be able to hear some stories, possibly, maybe, so, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to show you guys. We're gonna play that one really by ear. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sound good? Yeah. All right, Sam. Oh, door's locked. Let's go be on. That's good. Just trying to see what we got going on in here. Make sure we got everything for we need. Might need some dyes. I need to replenish my hook and weights, maybe. Yeah, anything good? That was all Peric stuff. Peric's jigs, flipping hooks. There's a frog in there. Crusty scissors down here. <laughs> oh, oh. That would be something you'd find in his bag. Yeah, that's a Peric tool right there. So essentially we came to the boat for no reason. I had everything I needed already inside my, my little Guggen bag. All right. So there's a lot of people that probably don't know who Sam is on this channel, but if you guys watch Peric Shadow, you probably know who Sam is. He's basically the guy that handles everything for Peric. Everything down to, well, I would say wiping him, but he doesn't wipe him. Everything else is Sam, literally everything. So with that being said, I've always wanted to ask Sam, what are you going to do when you're done working with Peric? One thing, you have one thing to do. What, what is it gonna be? I'll definitely still be fishing. Probably well, definitely a, still be filming. It's a no brainer, okay. But what is it? Uh, probably work for Rob. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but but by the end of this video, I, you have to tell me exactly what you're gonna do once you're done working with her. Okay. There has to be yet one thing. Let me think about it. It could be being a, on the border dishwasher. It could okay. be working for Applebee's. It's just got to be something. <laughs> the winds are kicking. Just kicking like pretty much how they've been all spring. I'm gonna start off with a spinner bait, maybe a chatter bait, moving bait definitely. What are you What are you thinking? What are you What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I might I might start with a chatter bait, swim jig. Swim jig's not a bad choice. Yeah. So I have fished this pond a couple times and usually when I have fished it, it is extremely windy and I can only throw like a swim jig or a spinnerbait and guess what? It's still blowing. But we got a little bit of calm stuff going on here. I don't know what the clarity is like. Ah, clarity's not bad. I mean, I don't know if we'll see anything spawning, but I'm gonna walk this entire bank. Maybe that side over there is extremely wind blown and the entire bank is like brown from just mud, just nasty. So we're gonna give this one a shot. It started off with, um, don't exactly know what I'm gonna start off with. I got a bunch of my rods and I don't know if these are Sam's or Perix. I think these are Sam's. Are these yours or Perix rods? Perix rods. Okay. Got a bunch of Perix rods here. I definitely need to move this chatterbait off because that one is like a, that's, that's like a three quarter ounce. That's not going to work here. <laughs> I think I should throw this Texas rig against these trees real quick before we go, before we take a, a good walk. Real question is, is what happened here? That's what you should be asking yourself is what happened right there. All right. So I'll, I'll hit this up with, uh, I'll hit these trees up and see if they'll lead a Texas rig. As long as we don't get stuck. Well, that's not a good way to start off with a Texas rig. Is it done? Um, yep. Okay. Okay, broke off. Just going to go ahead and just leave the rod right here. And I'm just going to throw a swim jig for a little while. I'm going to fish this swim big. Ooh, ooh, find your words. I'm going to fish this swim jig all the way back to the truck, but I think maybe a spinnerbait might be more productive. Right now, I haven't even had a single bite at all. Oh, that was a fish. There we go. First fish. Got one. On the swim jig. Pretty much almost gave up hope on this thing. There we go. First fish of the day. Basically can just scheme across the top of the water. Hey, fish number one on a swim jig. Probably still going to switch it up just because it uh, hasn't really been that productive, clearly. Fish number one is pretty much not very big. Oh, 
I'll chuck in wine a couple more times though. But I think uh, Texas rig, this bottom of this pond is a lot harder than I thought it was. That's what she said. So it might be pretty, pretty tasty. All right, let's change her up some, huh? Rob switching up, I might have to as well. A little spinner spinner baiting a Texas rig. Did you, uh, have you been bit since then? No, I haven't. Oh, really? I got one. You got one little one? Small one, yeah, nothing, nothing to write home about. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw a Texas rig and just let it kind of soak. Yeah. Whoa! Look, look where I casted. Do you see? Do you see the dust? That's like right where I casted too. I spooked something. That that's pretty big. Yeah, it's literally where I casted. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yep. Not bad. It's exactly where he was, man. On the Texas rig, we let it soak a little bit, huh? Oh. Not a bad little fish here, man. A pond bass. He showed himself to us. Yeah, he kicked up that dirt and I was like, oh, there he is. There he is. Here we go. Fish number, fish number two. Look how white he is on the bottom. Pretty healthy fish. There you go, little dude. Woo! He's good. Cool. Hey, they're munching on a Texas rig, man. That's good. That's good to know. I think I might have spooked him the first time I went over there, but I mean, he just kind of came back and munched it right when I pitched it in there. So that would be crazy. If that entire area was just loaded with them or maybe these trees. That'd be nice. Hope oh, that was a fish. He's on. You got it. Yep. There we go. Oh, came off. Son of a gun. Hesitated that first time. He went doo -doo, and then came back with douche. My sound effects for, for fishing hitting my, my lures doesn't make, really doesn't make any sense, but that's kind of what I envision in my head. Do -do -do -do. Oh, round two. That's another one right there. Does he have it? Yep. He did have a buddy out there. He did have a friend. Come on. This thing thumped it right when it hit the water. Little dude. I'll take, I'm talking like inhaled it. It went whoosh right when it hit the water. Man, that is deep in there. Deep. There we go. Fish number, fish number three. He had a friend. This nasty green slime stuff is just, get off of my stuff. Let's go give the other side a shot. The windy side, see if that works. So Sam, how was the windy side? Dude, it's so muddy down there. Oh, it's really muddy? Yeah, and it's blowing hard. White spinnerbait is what I'm gonna start off with. And if you guys have not seen yesterday's video, we went over the new truck updates. It's actually the last build video I think I'm ever gonna do on this truck because I'm pretty positive it's done. But I'm gonna throw this white spinnerbait for a little while. This is, uh, wow, okay, hooked up. All right, well, give me a sec, I'm son of a... My apologies out the gate if the wind is bad. It keeps uh, coming and going clearly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, that's, that's what you like right there. Oh man. That's a good one. Hey, Sam. Yeah. That is a chunk. You said 30% chance of me catching one. Dude, that. That's a stud. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, I know what I'm changing to now. <laughs> Dude, it kind of, you know what it felt like? I didn't even say anything. It just kind of just went tight, and I was like, oh, God, I got to check it. Got to check it. Checked it, and he was there. You killed it on the windy side. The windy side, yeah, I know. Oh it's not a bad-looking fish. I'll take him. Switched it up. Didn't really expect to catch one on a Texas rig, but I thought I'd give it a shot. There you go, dude. Swim, you're good. I'm telling you, I'll tell you this much. It didn't really feel like much, but I had to check myself. You know, hook sets are free until you get hooked into a tree and you lose your bait, but gave it a shot. Also, I'm sure the wind noise is really bad, so I'm sorry if you guys are new to the channel. It's usually not this bad, but hey, it's been blowing 30 every day here in Texas, but we're just giving it a shot. The water on this side is a bit muddier, so I went over to a uh, little purple color. I like it. I like it a lot. I think, I think we all know what time it is. It's time for a little bit of a... You know what I mean. Tell us, life decision, what was it gonna be? Or we'd say the end of the video. After a long day on the water and, and some time to think, I, I've decided I wanna be a swirl engineer at Smoothie King. I, 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 wanna, I wanna mix smoothies better than anybody makes smoothies before. I'd have to go back to school. 
but I, I can do it. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Sarah hates, well hold on, it's the wrong truck. She cannot stand this step side or this step step thing to get in. It's always really difficult for her. She slips on it sometimes because it really, honestly, it's not a good design and I, I don't like it myself. So I got this one and I forgot to tell them not to install it and just put it on the truck. So we're gonna see if we can maybe move this off of here for her and put it onto that truck. I'm not even gonna tell her, I'm just gonna do it. Oh. Let's see here. Um, I need to go coyote hunting soon. Ah, there's Peric right there. Old Parakeet. What up, man? Hey, how you doing? This is turning into a mess. Are you doing something important? Come on, just get off. Oh, you got yeah. two, two we're gonna, toolboxes out? What is yeah, that? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah, we, we're gonna take that side off for sure. So these things, they go bad. I'm just learning this right now. We're gonna get Sarah's on, but um, my truck's not gonna have step sides for now. These things are just torn up and I need to get new ones. Oh yeah, sure, just full send. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that might be too big. I don't know, we're about to find out. You tell me. Is it good? Money. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's way easier for her to step when she puts Avery in there. See, they're like a full. Yeah, see that? Yeah. yeah. Or you could just get like an old car. Your truck has two doors. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm really hungry and I need something to eat. How was Morgan? She was fine. What up, man? I knew it. I knew it. You knew it. Oh, you okay? You okay? Hey, you okay? Just brush it off. You okay? You got dirt on you. Hi. Hi, Avery. See, it works. What's that? It works. I know, but why is it not going in? These things are the worst things ever on planet Earth. This is tough. But we're gonna get it. Okay, now I've got, oh, I forgot to tell you how many I got left. Let me, let me take a gander here. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I've got, um, you, you tell me, I've got one, two, probably, probably three to four uh, half decent ones left, I'd say. Yeah, we'll do all of that then. Okay, yeah. For three to four half decent ones, so it'll be good. Okay, yeah, perfect. We'll just do all of them then. So, so I actually got kind of sidetracked. I uh, had, had to take the phone call to finish up writing some more chapters in that book, which, one million subs. Hey, why is your face red? Oh, is that makeup? You got makeup. So we're good though. You guys, you guys got the the very last one on Heck yeah. oh we're good so uh, I'm just gonna throw it out there these ones are a lot easier to put on and the little pin things but mine we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get something so uh, the truck looks pretty good without it for right now oh I don't know if that's a good thing she fell asleep with a bag of chips in her lap could be a pretty bad dinner but we're meeting somebody that I've kind of like I guess, I guess I'm kind of doing my first slight interview for lunkers and there's Avery we freaking crushed. I, I don't think Perk Peric doesn't understand. He was on a he was on a flight all day. He's been worried about Morgan. Now 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 we're sitting here eating. Oh guys, I'm sorry. You fart? I'm sorry. Ron, we you... have to go. We have to go. Check. I'm we so sorry. Check. It's gonna taste so it's gonna smell so bad. I'm gonna taste it in my mouth. It's gonna... <laughs> Dude, check, I'm sorry. Check. Dude, that's horrible. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, that's so bad. I haven't smelled it yet. Is that hibachi? <laughs> Dude, he has the worst farts of anybody I know. Like, oh my god! Oh my god, that's so bad. Ron just farted and it's so bad. No, he pooped himself. We just had a hibachi, and I, if that's hibachi, I'm never coming back to hibachi. I'm sorry. Buddy Moo. You wanna say hi to him? You can't say hi. Okay. Oh, oh, just lost one. Oh, that sucks. Hey, I'm gonna know we are one more step closer, except for that last little tidbit who ever just unsubscribed. We're one more, one more closer to actually getting to that one million mark. We have like 149,000 people more to go. Wow, when you say it like that, that is a very daunting task, and that's literally an entire city. We're like eight chapters deep in this book, and we got like four or so left, I would say. I'm pretty excited to get it done so you guys can see it, but we gotta get to a million, that's all we gotta do. Oh, we're gonna get there. Maybe we'll have some more news out this week on the house, and uh, click that video right there if you've not seen that one, then click the one right below it if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there, do it to 11 pieces. I love it. Thanks!